So I used food to get these six year old lambs in. And I placed a bucket in front of the entrance. And this year old lamb has got the bucket wrapped around her head. Because I'm trying to do it as quietly as possible because it is so hot. So two of these girls are gonna be going. I think this is one of the ones that is going to be going. Oh, I missed. Oh, last. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. <laughs> All the other lamps don't know what to make of it. Oh. See, if she retracted her head a little bit, she could eat the food in the bucket. But she's not gonna do something that intelligent. Yeah, she's one of the uh, lambs that are, is going as well. Oh dear. This little girl is booked by somebody else. They'll be picking that her up in about two weeks, I think. But Buckethead is one of the year lambs that's going. See, they're so hot, I don't want to panic them. She's quiet enough, she might figure it out herself. I don't know how she managed to get the handle over her head. I really don't, because the handle was hanging down the side of the bucket. It's one of those freak incidences that occurs. Can you just put your head down? <laughs> well, at least the other yeah, lambs aren't panicking with her head in the bucket. They're trying to get at the food now. I don't know how this is gonna resolve itself. You've just arrived in time. I might use you. Hmm. Okay. I don't want to leave them alone with her tangled up in a bucket, so I'm going to have to do something about it. Okay. Quietly, quietly. She's the one that escapes, of course. Okay, the rest of you lot can go back in there. Go on, go on. Okay. open this alley right. Hopefully these two will go in there so that I can get the bucket off. Don't 
jump out. Okay, gotcha. Oh, there we go, got the bucket. Well, now I'll let the two back in this pen to relax with the rest of the ladies until the new buyers or new owners turn up. Go on, you two. Whew. The excitement. You never know with sheep what's going to happen. You really never know. There we go, six little ladies. None for the worse for wear. <laughs>